And welcome back everyone to another FCBM. Uh, been a little while since I've got one, so this is uh, really awesome. And I actually got this in uh, probably about a week or so ago, and this is an international FCBM, um, which is why I think it took a little while for me to receive. But this, and I'm probably going to butcher the poor guy's name, um, Guillerme, uh, I think that's H, Bertha. And it says, hey cats, hope you can use these two at, two, two babes as replacements. They are so cute. And I'm also sending you some of my favorite cards in Portuguese. Haha. -ha. Happy holidays, uh, Guillermo, or Guillerme. And let's see, we'll show, start by showing off the, uh, Portuguese cards. Sorry, I'm just getting these out of the, the sleeves. Um, we've got a Meowth, a Persian from Jungle, a Hollow Nine Tails from Base Set. That's pretty cool. And a Hollow Zapdos from Base Set. Um, and you can even feel, I think the... Now, these are pretty old, um, but I think even the quality of these cards are a little different. Um, the Portuguese versus the English ones, they feel like they're on a different kind of card stock. Um, so very, very interesting. Thank you very much, Guillermo. And then uh, these, uh, and I'll have to check my wants list. Um, there are a bunch of older cards that I have in my collection, but that are, are not in mint condition. And uh, yeah, these look to be pretty nice. And uh, if these are on my wands list, I'll be able to swap these in. So we have a reverse Gengar from Expedition and a reverse Chikorita also from Expedition. So thank you very much, Germa. And uh, while I'm in this video, um, this is actually going to be the video of today before I uh, realize I had the FCBM to make. As you can see, my poor background that I've happily used for, I think, almost three years now has uh, sustained water damage. Um, long story with that, but as you can see, um, it, it's to the point where it cannot be repaired. And this was sent to me by a wonderful fan uh, many years ago. I think it was Ice Ice Cold 302, something like that. Um, I have his name written down somewhere. And he also sent this beautiful one for my older channel, Computer 3 and CSU. So I'll probably be using Blastoise, uh, focusing on the Blastoise itself, of course, for the time. Uh, but thought this would be a good opportunity to see if we have any uh, artists out there in the community that um, wouldn't mind making another background for me. Um, I'm not a bad artist, but uh, I don't know. I feel like this is a, as so much awesome artwork sent in, this is a good opportunity, I think, to let someone else shine. Um, and unfortunately, like, Ice Cold didn't put his name, I thought he did on the back maybe somewhere, but now I can't see it. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, he did sign this one, um, down at the bottom, um, but yeah, if, if uh, anyone wants to make a replacement and, uh, you know, kind of put their name in there somewhere so they can get a little publicity too, um, you know, obviously not make it the big focus of it, but I thought I could put that out there, see if any anyone was uh, interested in doing something like that, getting their name out there. Um, if not, I think for the time being, I'll be using good old Blastoise here. And I've got a nice binder of fan artwork, and if I could find some, some that are big enough, um, and this is pretty big, like uh, this is a normal sheet of paper, so the Meowth itself is bigger than this, and of course the paper on the background is uh, significantly bigger to cover up the in, you know entire background. Um, but yeah, if anyone's interested, PM, email me, uh, let me know, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some some turnouts. But thanks again, Guillermo, for an awesome FCBM, and stay tuned. Uh, we should have the Primal Clash booster box coming up very soon, and the Japanese boxes that I ordered a few weeks ago, sh and they're from coming from Japan, so they should be arriving any day now, and we'll have that to look forward to too. 